Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome everyone in today's class for the first intermediate uh, grade. Today we will be starting uh, a new textbook, this textbook called uh, Super Goal Number 2. And today we will be learning the first unit. What do you do? The lesson is listen and discuss and pair work. This lesson will be presented uh, by me, teacher Mazin Al Harbi, and the sign language by Mr. Fawaz Al Agil. So let's begin. A quick introduction of our new book, a new textbook, Super Goal 2. Here we're going to study three units. The first one called What Do You Do from pages uh, 2 until 9. And the second one, What's School Like from pages 10 to 17. And the third one is What Time Do You Get Up from pages 18 to 25. In the first unit, we will be learning how to make uh, or how to ask and answer a question about different job and also we're going to uh, talk about uh, job activities and ask and answer using why and because and also uh, in regards of grammar we'll be learning the simple present tense question using what and also conjunction so and because as for the second unit We'll, be to, uh, we'll talk about school subjects and what do you like about school and also the physical traits and describe people's personality and likes and dislikes. This is what we'll be uh, discussing in Unit 2. And also, we're going to talk about the symbol present tense. The symbol present tense, the adjectives, the, the intensifier, very quiet really, and etc. For the third one, we're going to talk about the daily activities and routines and also uh, to express time. As for the grammar, we're going to talk about uh, adverbs of frequency like always, uh, sometimes, never, and also the prepositions, for example, at, in, on, in regards of time. Not only this, but we also going to learn uh, going to listen to specific details about job in the first unit and also a singular verb ends with I uh, with the S and also reading we have uh, an interesting uh, text in this book the first one will be follow your dream and talking about your dream job and making a list of it and also as for the uh, second unit we'll listen to uh, specific details about different people and also we're going to read about school clubs and we're going to write description about uh, person or people that we know. As for the third one and the last unit in this semester, we're going to listen to specific details about daily activities and daily routines and also uh, the uh, uh, reading text about school days around the world and also how to write an email or write about a typical day at school. So, we are uh, promised to see a very interesting text and also to do an interesting exercises as well. Back to our lesson today, we hope that at the end of our lesson today, you will be able to list a number of jobs and also to describe job activity and discuss future job using uh, want. So, let's begin. So on page, uh, t uh, on page two on your book, I want you to have a look at these pictures and let's talk about it uh, a little bit. So what can we see in this picture? We can see a man who is in a classroom. So he is a teacher. He works in a classroom. He works in a school. What about this man? This man is a chef. He works in a kitchen. He makes food and he cook uh, dinner and all kinds of meal for his customer. The third one is a lawyer. As we can see here, he works in a court and he is uh, a lawyer and he uh, usually work in uh, a court. So here we have the three different people working in a three different job in also three different places. We'll see also uh, uh, a couple more. So the first one here, this man is a doctor, he works in a hospital and this man is a football player, he uh, works uh, for a club, a football club and this man is uh, a reporter, he works for a newspaper or a news channel. So all of them, all of these people uh, have different jobs and also work in 
different uh, places. We can also uh, name more than these. We can talk about the engineer, we can talk about driver, we can talk about uh, designers, uh, uh, programmers, and etc. So we have different job and each job requires different activities. For example, what does the teacher do? The teacher, he uh, teaches student. He teaches student, he helps them with their homework. And also the chef, what does he do? He cooks different kinds of meal. And the lawyer, what does he do? He defends his clients. And what about doctor? What does he do? He diagnoses the patient and he uh, heals the patients. And what about the player? The player helps his team in scoring goals. And what about the reporter? The reporter reports the news to uh, his news agency or the newspaper. So here we have different people doing uh, different things, working in different also places. But note one thing. If you notice that most of the jobs that uh, we, uh, 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 we can see here ends uh, with ER. So when we add a verb or plus ER, then we turn it from a verb to a job. Let's see an examples here. The first one here, teacher. So the blue one here is a verb, teach. I teach English. But if we add the, to the verb ER, this become a job. It become a profession, a teacher, a teacher. Let's see the other example. Player, player. Here we can see in the blue one, play, the verb play. I play football. But if we add ER to the verb, it becomes a job, a player. He is a football player. Let's see the third one, reporter. So the verb is report, report, report the news. But if we added ER, then it become a job, a reporter. Also, we have a couple more examples. Driver. Drive is a verb. I drive a car. But if we added ER, it becomes a job. A driver, like a bus driver, tax driver. And here we have manager. Manager. This one, uh, uh, here a verb, we added to it an ER. Manager, a person who manage a school, for example, or manage a company. And here we have a cleaner, a cleaner, a person who cleans. Here we have the verb clean, we added to it ER. And also painter, painter, a person who would like to paint. So paint here is a verb, we added to it ER, it becomes a painter. The next one we have designer, a designer. Design is to decorate a place or uh, create something new. This is what you mean by design. But if we add ER, then it becomes a job, designer. The last one, programmer, a person who makes programs. This person we call him programmer. So here we have program is a verb, we add it to it ER. So not all the jobs, but most of the job is consists of a verb plus ER and we can think of many more of uh, uh, these jobs uh, on uh, in this unit. Now I would like you to have uh, uh, a look at different uh, gadgets we can see here. So as you can see here we can see uh, an MB3, uh, uh, mp3 player, here we can see a smartphone, here we can see a camera, a printer and a video game controller and also a laptop. So these are a gadget, but what exactly do you mean by gadget? A gadget is a small machine or device which does something useful. So all of these uh, uh, gadgets are considered to be small and all of them we use them for something useful. For example, the MP3 player, we uh, use the MP3 player if we want to uh, uh, listen to music, listen to audio clips, and also the smartphone, we use it uh, for, to make calls, to make uh, or to text uh, uh, different messages. And also camera, we use it if we wanted to uh, uh, take a photograph of different occasions. And also the printer, if you want to print uh, a paper or a worksheet. 
and also video game uh, controller that we use it in, uh, when we want to, to play video games and the laptop we use it for uh, uh, our homework and different things so all of these items we call them gadgets okay so on the same page we'll see two different uh, young men two different friends have different interests let's read about uh, the, about those two uh, men and then we will talk about uh, uh, their interest so the first one name is adnan he is 14 years old his interest the things that he likes are technology gadgets and high-tech design so adnan is uh, like uh, uh, likes the technology gadgets and high-tech uh, design and he wants to become a high-tech designer so Adnan, uh, from this card, he likes to uh, design a new thing, design gadgets or devices that f uh, relates to technology. Let's read about uh, our friend here, Majid. So, his name is Majid. He is also 14 years old. He likes uh, sports, video games, and tennis. So, Majid wants to become a famous tennis player. So this card talk about what does Majid wants. So his interest, the things that he likes, he likes to be a famous tennis player. That's why he likes sport, he likes video games, and he also plays tennis. So these two different uh, uh, friends have different interests, and each one of them want to become something different from each other in the future. Now. Let's listen to, the, uh, to their conversation and try to figure out what exactly they want or they wish to be uh, in the future. So here, on the same uh, page, we will see uh, or we listen to a conversation between Majin, uh, Majid and Adnan. I would like for the first time, just listen only for listening. And for the second time, you listen and try to get some ideas about what Majid and Adnan uh, want to be in the future. So let's begin. So you want to become a tennis player? Yes, very much. And what does your father do? He's a doctor, but he likes to cook. He makes the best sandwiches. What about you? What do you want to be? I want to be a designer. You know, I want to design gadgets, computers, and things. And what about your father? What does he do? He's a mechanic, but he always carries a briefcase, and people think he's a lawyer. Very good. Now we're going to listen for the second time, but this time we try uh, to uh, elicit some ideas about Adnan and Majid. So you want to become a tennis player? Yes, very much. And what does your father do? He's a doctor, but he likes to cook. He makes the best sandwiches. What about you? What do you want to be? I want to be a designer. You know, I want to design gadgets, computers, and things. And what about your father? What does he do? He's a mechanic. But he always carries a briefcase, and people think he's a lawyer. Very well. So now we have listened to uh, Majid and Adnan talking about what do they want to be in the future. So Ad Majid said that I want to be a tennis player and my father works as a doctor. While uh, Adnan says I want to be a, a, a designer to design gadgets, computers and things. So and what does his father do? His father is uh, a mechanic. So both of them, their, uh, their dads or their fathers have different jobs and them also uh, have different dreams about what do they want to be in the future. So now uh, we're going to uh, 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 have a list of different verbs and let's try to guess what is the job. So our text uh, for today, our first exercise today, what is the name of the job? So here we have different verbs on, uh, on the left side and we're going to write what kind of job that does this activity what kind of job that does this activity so the first one here we have is play tennis play tennis what kind of job that its activity 
playing tennis. What do you think? Very good. A tennis player. So a tennis player is a job and playing tennis is an activity. Let's see the second activity. Works in a hospital. So what kind of job that people who do this job works in a hospital? Very good. Yes, it's either a nurse or a doctor. A nurse or a doctor. Let's see the third activity. Teaches at school. So, what kind of job that the people or the person who do this job teaches at school? Very good. Yes, he is a teacher or she is a teacher who teaches at school. And let's see, the fourth activity, designs new gadgets. Design new gadgets, design new computers, new things, new tool, new devices. So what do we call a person or a people that their job uh, or the things that they do is designing a new gadget? Very good, we call them designer so or high-tech designer. So all of these are different jobs and, uh, and, and on its left are the activities that relates to each job. So a tennis player, he plays tennis, a nurse or a doctor, they works in a hospital, a teacher teaches at a school, and high-tech designer, they design new gadgets. And we can think of different jobs and different activities. We can say, for example, taxi driver, uh, his job activity to uh, drive people, and also uh, engineer his activity to uh, construct uh, a building. Okay, so we can think of many jobs with their activity. The second uh, exercise uh, uh, on our lesson today, we want to answer yes or no question with the conversation between Majid and Adran. Let's start with the first one. The first one says, Majid wants to be a teacher. Majid wants to be a teacher. What do you think? Did Majid say that he wants to be a teacher? Very good. The answer is no. Majid wants to be a tennis player. And number two, Adnan wants to be a designer. Adnan wants to be a designer. What do you think of this one? Did Adnan say, I want to be a high-tech designer? Very good. The answer is yes. So, number three, Majid designs uh, games. Majid designs game. So, Majid, we agreed that he wants to be a tennis player. So, does the activity he likes to do, uh, designing games? Very good. The answer is no. And the fourth one, Adnan is interested in technology. Did Adnan say that he is interested in technology? Very good. The answer is yes. He likes technology. He likes to design new tools and new computers relates to the technology. Now, as for the last exercise in today's lesson, here we have in a pair work two interesting exercises. The first one is make question about the people in the pictures. For example, have a look at Majid and make question like this. What does Majid do? What does Majid do? And you can have as many answers as you like. You can say, he is a student. You can say, he is a student. He goes to school. He likes or he plays tennis. He wants to be a tennis player. You also can make question about Adnan by changing the underlying word, by saying, what does Adnan do? You can say, he is a student. He goes to school. Uh, he, uh, he design new things, he likes technology, so uh, oh, both Majid and Adnan and also other people in the picture, you can make question about them by changing this underlying uh, word. And also, you can make the same activity with a partner, maybe a family member or a classmate uh, or people you may know. You can make such questions, the f uh, like this one. What do you do? You can go to them and ask them, what do, you, uh, what do you do? And you will hear answers like this. Here I chose two uh, different examples. The first one, when you ask someone, what do you do? He would say, I am a chef. I work in a restaurant. I am a chef. 
I work in a restaurant. The other job uh, they may choose, I am a teacher. I teach students. Also, you can uh, ask this question uh, to a driver. What do you do? I am a driver. I drive people. I am a doctor. I, uh, di uh, I cure people. I am a designer. I design new things. So all of these uh, are different answer with one uh, question, with the same question. What do you do? So make sure you ask the people around you about uh, this, uh, uh, this question and also to write down their answers using I am about the job and also about the job activities of the job they have chosen. So before we finish, don't forget that we have an interesting exercise uh, on, page, uh, on the workbook, page uh, 89. Uh, we're going to practice with vocabulary for job and uh, job activities. And now we have reached the end of our lesson. Thank you very much uh, for watching. I'll see you next time.